G'day, I'm Glenn Morris from the Smart Energy Lab, and today I'm here at SNEC with Pylon Tech and my good friend Ned. It's good to see you, Ned. Good to see you, Glenn. <laughs> Welcome to China. Oh, thank you. It's been an amazing trip, and SNEC, my first time here, it is incredible. Yeah, <laughs> it's super big and it's changed a lot. Yeah, yeah I imagine there's a big, big demand because two years no SNEC. Yes. And now everyone is here. Yeah, it's actually the we reopen the snack again after almost two or three years. Three years, wow. Yeah. 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 Now we're standing in front of this beautiful big black stack. What what is this? Uh this is actually our PowerCube M5 system. We especially designed for large industrial and the utility project. So this is one rack of our PowerCube M5 system. So roughly around up to three 100 kilowatt hour. In, in this rack? Yeah. Wow. So actually, each one of this battery module, PowerCube M5, is around 15.4 kilowatt hour. So right now we have around 21 units connect in series. So the uh, DC voltage of this battery system is up to uh, 1,500 volt. Wow, wow. What the, so this is really uh, for utility scale storage, like yeah. in the shipping container. Yeah, exactly. Um, we also have other small size PowerCube M series. We, we from PowerCube M5, M1 to M3. But PowerCube M5 is a little bit different because this is not uh, typically only designed for DC container battery system. So in a 20 foot container layout, we normally can install around a rack of PowerCube M5. So the energy density go up to 2.5 megawatt hour. Wow, okay. And how much power can you deliver from, from one rack? Um, so one rack is around 320 kilowatt hour, and the, the depth of charge, depth of discharge is around uh, 95% DOD. So how many kilowatts of power though? Uh, it can up to uh, 0 0.5 C. Uh, charging, discharging, and the peak for 1C. So like 150 kilowatts for charging and 300 kilowatts for discharge? Yeah, wow. one rack. And one if rack. you have multiple racks, the ca power capacity is, goes up directly. Okay, that's that's amazing. That very, very beautiful design too. <laughs> yes, yeah. we have a front cover here, uh, and the internal connection is actually behind the cover. So we have power connection cable here, and also the uh, COM cable and also internal power cable on the right hand side. Right, so you've hidden all the connections. Yeah, and also uh, if you check the uh, the bottom of this rack, we actually have a BMS uh, on the bottom. We can also divide the whole string into two strings and it can drop the voltage to 1000 volt. So we ha it's very flexible to work with either 1000 uh, DC platform or 1500 DC volt. Right, yeah. I, I get it. So the PowerCube is actually a whole range of products that, from PowerCube N1 through to N5. Yes. And they have different capabilities. This is the biggest one. This is the big brother. Big brother. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you have some of the smaller units here. Shall we have a look at those? Yeah, sure. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Ned, so yeah. another big stack. What's this one? Yeah, this is uh, actually our PowerCube M3 series. And we have actually have two different versions. We have PowerCube M3 uh, 100 and also 180. This is 180. Uh, 180 actually refers to the maximum current. So this one is the 1C module. We have two versions. M3A100 is half C, and this one is 1C. So 180 amps per string? Yeah, per string. And what sort of string voltage can you go up to? So right now, we see like three string of battery here. It's go up to 1,500 volt. So 180 amps times three. Yeah. Wow. No, no, no. It's uh, uh, the voltage we have three. Yes. But the current is uh, because the battery is connected in series. Uh, yes. Yeah. So the the string current is uh, uh, one is one C. One C. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And uh, what sort of application would you see these being used in? Um, this is for mostly for some uh, one hour application. For example, some uh, emergency backup application. And also the battery capacity for this module is uh, around uh, 5.6 kilowatt hour per module. One rack is around 180 kilowatt hour. So uh, the, typically we use it in some uh, commercial and in the industrial application. And uh, uh, this battery density, we can go up to around uh, two megawatt hour. 
per 24 container. Two megawatt hours? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty impressive. Yes. <laughs> And you've got a, a big cabinet over here. What, what, should we go and check this one out? Yes, yes, exactly. Let's go. So, Ned, yeah. which one is this? Yeah, this is actually our uh, all-in-one solution for light commercial application. The series name is Optimus. So, actually, if you look at this outdoor cabinet, on the left-hand side, it's integrated with Pylon Tech PowerCube M series product. We can uh, choose different type of M module based on the C rate and the certification requirement. So right now in this rack, we have PowerCube M1 uh, battery module uh, inside. And uh, this product is a little bit different with other product because it's also integrated with the EMS, the PCS, the DCDC, all in one cabinet. Oh, so the PCS is in the cabinet next to me? Yeah, next to you. So what's the, the power rating of the PCS? Uh, normally, uh, we use 30 kilowatt uh, yep. DCAC, yes. and we can scale up to three module per cabinet. Wow! So you can do 90 kilowatts. 90 kilowatt, yeah. And the storage capacity using the M series? M series, um, each one is around 5.6. We can have around 20 unit here. So it's typically designed for like 30 kilowatt and 100 kilowatt hour. Yes. Battery uh, size. And this looks like an outdoor cabinet, so it's. Yeah, it's an IP54 yes. uh, rating, and uh, we, we can actually assemble all the components in our factory and do the factory testing and deliver to the customer. Oh, I like this. So the all-in-one solution built by Polantec in their factory, tested, delivered to the customer, they just turn it on. Yeah, exactly. And uh, this product is uh, um, typically designed for some great type big streaming, um, time of use application. And also, we can build in some uh, STS uh, inside the system as well. So it can uh, work with some diesel generator in the uh, microgrid application. Oh, very good. Can you parallel multiple units together? Yes, we can actually, uh, it's actually it's a no limit in the parallel connection uh, with AC coupling. But we would recommend you go to container solution if the capacity go up to more than 500 kilowatt hour. Right. Yeah, because one container is more cost effective. I'm, I'm thinking already of a, an application, so I'll talk to you more about that one. Okay. Um, and and, cool. and it's, it's just a house, but it yeah. uses a lot of power. Okay, I, I will wait for your message. <laughs> now, right. you've got a, a smaller unit, so we go and look at the more residential application. Yes, yeah, sure. Okay, let's go. let's go. So, Ned, I know this brand very well. Solentec? Yeah, Solentec. So they're actually new to the Australian market, but uh, you're well known in, in the Chinese market. Yep. And you partner with them with your battery, I believe. Yes, right now, uh, actually, we have two range of our high voltage battery module. PowerCube M series is more industrial design. And we also have our Force series, Force H series. It's also high voltage battery, but it's more for light commercial and some residential application. So this is the H2, Force H2? Yep, this is Force H2. Can you combine multiple stacks together? Yep, uh, actually we can combine maximum six tower in one system. So for example, work with this uh, 50 kilowatt uh, inverter, we can maximum uh, parallel up to six tower of PowerCube Force series. And what, what level of uh, energy storage would you get with six towers? Um, actually, for PowerCube Force H1, uh, four series, we also have uh, two versions, yes. Force H1 and Force H2. Uh, if we go with some big system, we will recommend Force H1, which you can connect up to seven battery modules per, per tower and the six tower in parallel maximum. So uh, in total, it's around 42 battery modules. Wow, 42. Yeah, 42. I, I know the Force H1 well. As you know, I have many of them at my lab. Yeah. And I'm, I'm looking forward very much to putting the little brother, the, the <laughs> yeah. 20 kilowatt unit with the, the Force H1s. Yes. It's, it's a great combination. And I, I love the color combination too. It, it, they, they, yeah. they look like family. Yeah, exactly. And uh, so for Solintech, we already work with Solintech in some domestic uh, project in China for some light commercial application. I have one um, technical question. I noticed there's a, a small antenna on the BMS. Does that mean you can communicate with the BMS through Wi-Fi? Yes, yes. Uh, actually, for Force H series, we have our self-development uh, Wi-Fi platform. Uh, 
uh, of course you can uh, read the information from the Solintech inverter or, uh, or a compatible the EMS device. But we are also providing our own uh, BMS information uh, from our own Wi-Fi portal. So you can actually log in and find more detailed information from the battery system. Oh, that's great. Well, thanks for showing me around, Ned. It's good to see you again. Yeah, good to see you, Glenn.